14 million years ago, a silent but powerful force within our galaxy may have altered the course of Earth's history. As our solar system journeyed through the Milky Way, it encountered the Radcliffe Wave, a massive 9,000 light-year-long structure of interstellar gas and dust rippling like a cosmic tide through space. This celestial passage wasn't just a routine event. It may have compressed our protective heliosphere, allowing a surge of interstellar material, dust, cosmic rays, and radioactive isotopes to penetrate the solar system. Scientists now speculate that this influx could have influenced Earth's climate, triggering shifts in atmospheric chemistry, cloud formation, and even global temperatures. The timing of this encounter intriguingly coincides with the Middle Miocene climate transition, a period marked by a significant cooling event and the expansion of Antarctic ice sheets. Could the Radcliffe wave have played a hidden role in shaping Earth's past? As we explore this groundbreaking discovery, we'll uncover how our planet's fate is deeply intertwined with the vast and dynamic forces of the Milky Way. When we think of forces shaping Earth's history, we often look to volcanic eruptions, asteroid impacts, or shifts in climate. But what if one of the most significant influences came not from Earth itself, but from deep within our galaxy? Scientists have recently uncovered evidence that, around 14 million years ago, our solar system passed through a colossal interstellar structure known as the Radcliffe Wave an immense undulating ribbon of gas and dust stretching 9,000 light years across the Milky Way. This cosmic encounter may have compressed our solar system's protective bubble, allowing a surge of interstellar particles to infiltrate Earth's atmosphere, potentially influencing its climate and evolutionary trajectory. Could this hidden galactic force have played a role in shaping the planet we call home? In this deep dive, We'll explore the discovery of the Radcliffe Wave, its astonishing implications, and what it reveals about the ever-changing relationship between Earth and the cosmos. The Radcliffe Wave Structure and Discovery Imagine a colossal, undulating ribbon of gas and dust stretching across 9,000 light-years of the Milky Way. This is the Radcliffe Wave one of the most intriguing galactic structures ever discovered. Unlike the spiral arms of the Milky Way that astronomers have long studied, the Radcliffe wave moves in a coherent wave-like motion, comprising multiple well-known star-forming regions, including Orion, Taurus, and Perseus. Located just 500 light-years away from our solar system at its closest point, it is an essential feature of our galactic neighborhood. The discovery of the Radcliffe Wave was announced in January 2020 by a team of astronomers using data from the European Space Agency's Gaia mission. Gaia's precise mapping of stellar positions and motions allowed researchers to construct an unprecedented three-dimensional model of interstellar matter, revealing this massive gas structure. What made this discovery groundbreaking was that before Gaia, scientists believed star-forming regions were distributed randomly or aligned along the Gould Belt, a hypothesized ring of star formation surrounding the solar system. The Radcliffe wave overturned that view, showing that these regions are part of a larger oscillating formation. Why does this matter? Studying such structures gives us insight into the forces shaping our galaxy, the wave-like pattern suggests that gravitational interactions, possibly with spiral arms, dark matter, or even past supernova explosions, may have sculpted the Radcliffe wave. Understanding its origins and behavior could unlock secrets about the Milky Way's evolution and the dynamic processes that govern star formation. The Solar System's Passage Through the Radcliffe Wave Our solar system is constantly moving, orbiting the Milky Way's center approximately every 230 million years. Throughout this journey, it encounters different cosmic environments, from empty voids to dense molecular clouds. One of the most fascinating revelations from recent research is that between 14.8 and 12.4 million years ago, 
Our solar system passed directly through a dense region of the Radcliffe Wave, specifically the Orion Star Forming Complex. This finding was determined using Gaia data and spectroscopic observations. Scientists traced the movement of star clusters within the Radcliffe Wave and compared them with the reconstructed past trajectory of the solar system. The analysis showed that during the Miocene epoch, our solar system was within this dense region, possibly altering the conditions in the interstellar medium around it. What does this mean? Passing through the Radcliffe Wave's denser regions would have increased the amount of interstellar material the solar system encountered. The heliosphere, the magnetic shield formed by the solar wind, could have been compressed due to external pressure from this dense gas. A more compact heliosphere means more interstellar particles, including dust and cosmic rays, could have entered the solar system, potentially impacting planetary atmospheres, including Earth's. This discovery connects our solar system's galactic journey with changes in the interstellar environment. While space might seem like an empty void, it is filled with interstellar gas, dust, and radiation that can influence planetary climates and even evolutionary processes over millions of years. Potential Implications for Earth's Climate and Beyond The passage of our solar system through the Radcliffe Wave isn't just a fascinating astronomical event. It may have had significant effects on Earth's climate. One of the key consequences could have been the influx of interstellar dust. If the heliosphere was compressed due to the increased density of the surrounding interstellar medium, more cosmic dust and isotopes like Iron-60 may have made their way into Earth's atmosphere. Why is this significant? The period of the solar system's passage through the Radcliffe Wave coincides with a major climatic event on Earth, the Middle Miocene Climate Transition. During this period, around 14 million years ago, Earth experienced a shift from a warm, variable climate to cooler conditions, leading to the expansion of Antarctic ice sheets. The primary driver of this shift is thought to be decreasing atmospheric CO2 levels, but the role of increased interstellar dust cannot be ignored. Cosmic dust has the potential to influence Earth's climate by affecting atmospheric chemistry, cloud formation, and radiation balance. If an increased amount of interstellar dust entered the atmosphere, it might have contributed to climatic changes by seeding clouds or altering how sunlight was absorbed and reflected. Additionally, traces of Iron-60, a radioactive isotope produced in supernova explosions, could have been deposited in Earth's geological records, offering a potential marker for studying past interstellar interactions. How could this have affected Earth's climate? One of the most intriguing aspects of this discovery is its correlation with a major climate shift in Earth's history. Around 14 million years ago, Earth experienced the Middle Miocene climate transition, a period marked by a significant cooling trend and the expansion of Antarctic ice sheets. The primary explanation for this shift has traditionally been a decline in atmospheric CO2 levels, but some scientists now suggest that an increase in interstellar dust may have contributed as well. When interstellar dust enters a planet's atmosphere, it can impact climate in several ways. Altering atmospheric chemistry. Certain cosmic dust particles, including iron-60 isotopes from ancient supernovae, could have influenced atmospheric composition. Seeding cloud formation. Tiny dust grains serve as nuclei for cloud condensation, potentially increasing cloud cover and reflecting more sunlight, leading to cooler temperatures. Modifying radiation balance. An influx of cosmic particles might have affected how much solar radiation reached Earth's surface. If the Radcliffe wave passage did, in fact, increase the amount of interstellar dust reaching Earth, it could have played a previously unrecognized role in shaping our planet's climate. This possibility raises fascinating questions about how interstellar conditions may influence planetary environments over long timescales. Beyond Earth's climate, this discovery also has broader implications for understanding cosmic interactions with planetary systems. 
Interstellar dust carries essential elements, including carbon, oxygen, and other building blocks of life. The influx of such materials could have played a role in biological evolution by influencing environmental conditions or even delivering essential molecules to Earth's surface. A similar discovery that provides insight into the effects of interstellar interactions is the local bubble, a vast low-density cavity in the interstellar medium surrounding our solar system. The local bubble is believed to have formed due to multiple supernova explosions over the past 10 to 20 million years. Like the Radcliffe wave, the local bubble has influenced the interstellar conditions around our solar system, altering cosmic ray exposure and affecting the entry of interstellar material. Scientists believe that the local bubble has played a role in shaping the distribution of nearby star-forming regions and influencing the solar system's exposure to radiation. Additionally, this finding opens new doors for understanding habitability in exoplanetary systems. If interstellar dust influx can influence planetary climates, similar processes may be relevant for exoplanets orbiting other stars. Understanding how planetary atmospheres respond to interstellar conditions could help scientists assess the potential habitability of exoplanets in dynamic galactic environments. The implications of this research extend beyond historical climate change. If interstellar dust influxes can influence planetary climates, then similar processes could be relevant when studying exoplanetary atmospheres and the habitability of distant worlds. While current technology may not yet be sensitive enough to fully analyze these effects, future advancements in space observation and isotope detection could reveal more about how interstellar conditions shape planetary environments. Cosmic dust and the evolution of life beyond climate. The Radcliffe wave may have had an even deeper impact on the evolution of life itself. Interstellar dust is rich in essential elements like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, which are the fundamental building blocks of life. While Earth already had these elements, an increased influx of cosmic material during our solar system's passage through the Radcliffe wave could have subtly influenced biological processes by introducing new isotopes or affecting atmospheric conditions. Additionally, an increase in cosmic rays due to a compressed heliosphere might have led to higher mutation rates in DNA. While excessive radiation can be harmful, slight increases in mutation rates can drive evolutionary change potentially influencing the course of life on Earth. What this means for exoplanets and habitability. This discovery doesn't just reshape how we see Earth's history, it also has implications for the search for life beyond our solar system. If cosmic structures like the Radcliffe wave can influence planetary climates and evolutionary processes, similar effects may be happening in other star systems. Many exoplanets orbit stars that, like our Sun, move through different regions of the galaxy. If these planets pass through dense interstellar clouds, their atmospheres could also be affected by cosmic dust, radiation, and magnetic shifts. Understanding how Earth responded to these galactic interactions may help astronomers assess the habitability of exoplanets and the conditions necessary for life to emerge elsewhere in the universe. The discovery of the Radcliffe wave and our solar system's passage through it provides a stunning reminder that Earth is not isolated. It is deeply connected to the dynamic and ever-changing environment of the Milky Way. This immense galactic structure may have influenced Earth's climate, shaped evolutionary processes, and even contributed to the conditions that allowed life to flourish. As scientists continue to refine their models and analyze geological records for traces of interstellar dust, we may soon uncover even more connections between our planet's history and the vast cosmic forces that shape the universe. The Radcliffe Wave is a testament to how much remains to be discovered about our place in the galaxy, and how the story of Earth is, in many ways, a story written in the stars. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey through the Radcliffe Wave and its potential impact on Earth's history. From its discovery to its implications for our planet and beyond, 
This galactic phenomenon reminds us of the intricate connections between the cosmos and our own world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic discoveries. Stay curious, keep exploring, and join us again as we unravel the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, remember, the stars above hold stories that shape the world below.